Welcome, my minions, to an all-new Agrarian Skies episode with myself and Quixote. Hello, hello. And uh, hopefully we've got our sound issues fixed. Um, I need a better headset. <laughs> well, I need one of those micro... I need an external microphone. I'm working on that right now. I've actually hinted at it to a few people as, hey, it's my birthday. Guess what? And, uh... I'm hoping. But anyways, until my birthday, or until I figure out where I'm going to get it, Kehota and I are just trying to adjust the sound because he has a better microphone than I do. <laughs> so to give you a little tour of what all has been going on. Oh, by the way, the other day I got in here and there was a butterfly trapped in the tree. Oh, awesome. Oh, it's gone. So there was a butterfly trapped in here. So, yeah, we've got, we should have the lag issues mostly resolved. We've, we're now hosting the game on a server. Um, rather than a computer. So we've got this. Is this a cherry tree? Cherry tree. Mm -hmm. I haven't even seen what a cherry looks like yet. Well. You have to tell me when you see one growing so I can see what it looks like. No, that's actually, you see, the, on this particular, this, we actually have two, si two types of cherry trees in this mod pack. Okay. So this one, you're actually seeing what cherries look like when they grow. If you knock out those leaves, you'll get a cherry. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. And then up here, we have expanded our farm. We have plenty of food now. Uh, we got multiple stacks of carrots. We've also made a cobblestone generator, which uh, you can either use your pickaxe to get the cobblestone, or you could just use a hammer and break it and immediately get gravel. Uh, we do need to get quite a bit of work done on that. Uh, the way it works is the lava comes in from that side. Uh, we got a crucible up above it, but we got a lava on this side, and then on this side is the water. You just stand in here and hit the block, and it does that. And also, you saw our previous episode where we put the tree farm in. We've expanded that platform a bit, because today we're going to build a mob spawning tower. We need stuff. We need I more bone stuff. meal and stuff. So, I need wood. Yeah, you'll have to give me some wood. I've got uh, 42 birch on me. So am I going up and building the top? If you like. Okay, sure. And you're going to build the, the base and stuff? Mm-hmm. Are we doing it like the design I did? I think so. The compact okay. one is, is a good idea. Okay. Solid. Good. So let me know where you want me to start. Put my pillar and start going up. Uh, how about right there? Right there. Okay. So up I go, everybody. Um. All right. Do I have a way back down? Oh, uh, yeah, go make a uh, rope ladder first and show <laughs> how to make a rope ladder. Yeah, let me show you guys how to make a rope ladder in case you had not uh, played before. Oh, there's wood in here. There's lots of wood in there. This, oh, do we need any of it? I'm well, going to take a stack of it just yeah. in case. Okay. You need it for the, for the mob tower. Yep. All right, so I'm looking for... i got to remember how do we make a little rope ladder. Rope ladder is made out of... Sticks and string. We've got both. And in fact, right in this chest. So we'll take this string. And I'll take some of those sticks. I'm going to have to make some more. So let's make some more sticks. Alright. So let's do that. Now, if you want to be able to uh, line this up to where you can actually make it on your screen, just click on that question mark and it shows the pattern there. And then you just put the stuff over the pattern. Alright. Uh all right, I've got a rope ladder to take to the top with me. And up we're going to go. So this might take a little time to build. Um, is this my square right here? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, you betcha. What down they vote? torches oh nope. <laughs> all righty then so let me make well that's okay you're they're not going to spawn in radius of you i don't trust it <laughs> 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 so one two
the ladder right thar. You think? Right. Uh, I, no. Actually, may I suggest? Put it right like thar. So it's up against the edge. Eggs. Yeah, excellent. Yes? Okay. I'd say that's a great place for it. And Here it goes. Need... All right. Do we have enough buckets for the water? Or is it going to take more? No, in fact, I have the only bucket. You have the only bucket. That's I'm going down and getting more wood. By the way, I'm going to... What I'm actually going to swap out this thing. What is this? What is what? Wooden crank. Yes. Oh, yeah, that is a cheap, uh, poor man's um, pulverizer. Okay, it's about to get dark in here. All right. You got light? Uh, yeah. I will go ahead and lay out lights. Okay. I will go up and start on the roof. So the outside fence is done, the outside of the whole place is done. The roof is done, this is all in half planks so that they will not spawn up there. And then in here we have our water set up so that all the mobs, they'll spawn on these edges and then they'll walk down into the, uh, into the water and fall down the center and die at the bottom. So I'm going to take out that ladder. Wait, I'm going to grab this light over here. What do we take the light out with? Just your fist. Oh. Okay, I picked it up. Okay. Um, going to close those. Oh, it got dark really fast. Ooh, it's spooky. Okay, go ahead and fill in you, the hole. You got that one yep. side on I the wrong side. Them. What? You got the trap door on the wrong side. Oh. It doesn't really matter. I promise you. Ha! Just catch it. Now, how are you going to get there? Ah, you're going to jump over. <gasps> and fall! And fall off! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Here. Quiet, you. Put something under me, quick. Here, okay. hop through there. Hop oh, in there. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you. You saved me, my hero. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. The problem is... Hold on. I'll do it. Watch this. Watch this. I'll do it the hard way. <laughs> watch me do it the hard way. I am persistent. <laughs> I am a determined person. Have I gone through enough trouble for that one little spot yet? Okay. It's done. <laughs> Quite you. And if you leave the bottom open, they won't bother us through it. Yeah, but they, the light will get in, so. Oh, should, okay. Go ahead. Close that off. Well, can't you put like a half slab there and the light won't get in? Sure. In fact, you could put a whole row of half slabs. So that actually, I would put them up at eye level. Okay. I'll tell you what. In fact, let's do that. Like that. Mm-hmm. And then uh, there you go. No, not a half slab there. Why not? 
it counts. Oh, it it does. Oh, I don't want to go down the ladder. Wow. I just don't want them to shoot us. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna go ahead and make it only two, or only half a slab high. Is that that level? Yep. Okay, and I got, I got some too. Oh, sorry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> too Hello. fast for you. Peekaboo. Okay, I'll go this side. You go that side. No, no. Let's let's leave it like this. Just that one. Okay. Yeah. D let's not get too fancy. <laughs> But I like doing everything overboard. Okay. So down do at the later. bottom. Alright, so we're done. Our mob tower is finished. And what we've done here is we've... Oh, I maybe I should have gone a little bit higher. So what we've done here is we've set it up so we can kill them through the floor. We may put some uh, spikes things here to... Like trap things here to kill them uh, for us. If we're being lazy. <laughs> and we're done! All right, I am going to. No, I don't. Put the glowstone blocks back in there. Oh yeah. All right, and that's the end of our episode. We now have a mob spawner. It's a nice tall mob spawner with an opening at the bottom and a ladder to the top. Later on, we'll take the roof up a level, which will allow us to uh, get Enderman. So. Now we just gotta wait until some mobs spawn and fall down here to the bottom. Which should be hopefully soon. Theoretically, but maybe not. Might take a bit. Might have to wait till night. No. Alright, so let's take a look at our quest log to figure out what we will be covering next episode. So, learning to skyblock, we've got... Kill three zombies. We've killed one. When did we kill one? I know I killed one at some point. Yeah, that would have been you. Oh, or oh, we've got one to turn in. Dust in the wind. Yeah, there you go. Have you not turned that one in? I have not. So the, go with... the way that that works is you use gravel and sand and all that, and you sieve it, and then you get these different ores. And then this is the ore you get from gravel, this is the ore you get from sand, and this is the ore you get from dust. Now we'll claim it. I'm going to do the middle bag. I uh, always do the right one. You do no. the right one. You go ahead and do the right. I'll do middle. Okay. Some of my uh, Oklahoma friends will get this. Left. Never left. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm... I, I, I joined a D&D game with them. We were playing, and um, and I joined them, and they were caught in a maze, and they were going in a circle because they had always found that if they went left, it was bad. So they refused to go left. I showed up, and I'm like, why are we going left? And like, or I, I said, why are we going right? They said, like, never go left. It was hilarious, uh -huh. so we went in circles a lot. Um, it was What'd you get? I got four plume sap plum saplings. Ooh, nice. What'd you get? I got 16 pearl oysters. What do you use those for? I saw some of those before, too, and I don't know what they're for. Looks like the only crafting recipe available for them is beef and oyster pie. But apparently okay. there's lots of stuff you can do with them in mariculture, which I'm not ready to deal with. Right, yeah, we'll get there later. All right, well, thank you for joining us, everybody, and join us next time where we'll do some more quest turn-ins. We're going to get a few things set up. Um, one of the goals that we have right now that we've been talking about is we need to get our uh, automation processes set up. So we need our, is it uh, Autonomous Activator? What is it called? Autonomous Activator. Autonomous Activator. So we need to get a, a few Autonomous Activators set up, which means we're going to have to spend a little bit of time grinding out stone and such because in order to make it, let me show you the recipe. The autonomous activator, which I've spelled wrong. Where are you? There you are. Requires emeralds and diamonds as well as some redstone. Now to get all those we have to sieve uh, for the emeralds and diamonds, which we don't have enough of to make very... Uh, we have enough to make one automaton. And we have redstone. Uh, we need, so it's gravel for these guys, emeralds and diamonds, and then it's sand, or is it dust? Dust for the dust redstone. Dust for the redstone. And, yeah. of course, to get the invar, which is actually one of the hardest things for that, you need to take uh, iron and um, tin and combine, or no, not tin, to iron and nickel and combine those. 
And in here we have some, so we need to get enough ore. So we're going to be doing a lot of um, <laughs> sifting and sieving and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So what did I get here? I got crushed silver and crushed nickel. And why did I do that? I don't even know why I did that. What what do we do with the cigario, cigarro fruit? Cigarro fruit? Uh, that's, uh, it's a, uh, it's a fruit tree. Oh. <laughs> Looks right, like plum so saplings you got. Plums in there. I'm going to put my fruit in there. So, yeah. So, that's it for this episode. Please join us next time or we'll do some more stuff. <laughs> Bye, everybody.